BC. He's prepared for Storley's wrestling. He's really itching and hoping it stays up on the ground. How do you view and break down this interim championship fight? Uh, the, the best answer I can give you, Tommy, is I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, and that's part of the thrill of getting this fight. Of course, this was supposed to be MVP stepping up against the full champion Yaroslav Amosov, but even with that late replacement of bringing in Storley, it still brings you the perfect style contrast in the fact that what MVP does great on the feet, spectacular strikes from out of nowhere, the creativity. That's probably the biggest kryptonite to Logan Storley, who's so good on the ground, but vice versa, the same thing plays into contention. We know what MVP can do on the ground, but what does he do if his back is to that ground for five full rounds, which has that potential when you're fighting somebody with that amateur wrestling pedigree as Logan Storley. You love that you're not sure who's gonna have the upper hand, but whoever does, they could potentially run away with this one. They're so dominant in that one category. This is why you tune in. This is why you watch the fights. It may surprise some, <clears throat> pardon me there, that MVP, who is the higher ranked fighter, is actually the underdog coming into this fight. So if I had to ask you about your expert pick, where are you going? Look, it's, it's, it's tough. I do think it's MVP's time. And there was a lot of people that have been on him for his matchmaking over the years. Was he a can crusher, as they used to say? Well, MVP's put that behind him in recent years. He's beaten the guys he's needed to beat to get to this point. Have we truly seen him against an elite wrestler like this and come through? I, I'm not so sure, but the thing about MVP is you can't prepare for this guy. He may be 35 years old, but at six foot three with that ridiculously long reach and with the fact that he basically a video game fighter come to life, I, I don't think Storley is going to be able to handle it at the end of the day. You got to give Logan Storley his props. Against Neiman Gracie, he showed a backbone, he showed a chin, he fought through a blood and guts battle and did it on the feet where he's not the most comfortable. The only problem is Neiman Gracie is not so comfortable on the feet either. MVP is. I think his skill in this matchup is better than even Storley's with the wrestling. Look for MVP to be difficult. Look for him to dive and dart in and out with big shots. And look for him to connect big. I think MVP makes the statement we've been waiting for. And then look out. Here comes the real champ, Yaroslav Amosov. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.